Hi, my name is Carly and I am an apprentice falconer and also a volunteer with the Kettle River Raptor Center. And this is my friend Scout. He is a wild trapped male red-tailed hawk and he is a juvenile. Red-tails are native to North America. Some of them stay in the same territory year round and some of them migrate north for the breeding season. Red-tailed hawks eat mice and typically ground dwelling animals and their hunting style differs from falcons because they like to hunt from a high perch over um, open meadows. He is a beautio, which means that he has broad wings and a short tail. That is what makes him very good at soaring. So as you can see, I'm wearing this thick leather glove. Scout has very large talons. Sometimes he can actually grab so hard that it pokes through a little bit, but you know, that's only if he's really, really hungry, um, which we don't try to get him that hungry, but um, he's also wearing this hat. This hat is called a hood and it keeps him from seeing um, while he's traveling. So he doesn't get spooked at all while we're on the road. And he's a wild trapped bird. So I've only had him for about six weeks. So he still gets, you know, a little bit spooked with all the, you know, sounds and noises that humans make and, you know, some of the sights can spook him. So when he's traveling, I'll put this little hat on his head. So at the Kettle River Raptor Center, I am a part of the rescue team. And that means that I volunteer my time to rescue raptors who are in peril and need help. Um, in order to do that, you have to be at least an apprentice so that you have the knowledge and the skills to be able to handle the raptors and also house the raptors. So I'm an apprentice falconer and Craig is my sponsor. When you're becoming a falconer, you have to first find a sponsor in your area who has lots of knowledge about birds of prey and you have to study with them for two years. First, you have to take a test. You have to study and take a test and then you build facilities for your raptor and then you get those inspected. And then at that point, you can get a trapping permit to trap either a red-tailed hawk or a kestrel. And the main points of becoming a falconer is number one, conservation. Um, a lot of red-tailed hawks, they have a very high mortality rate in their first year. And so by catching them within their first year and housing them, for that time period, their chances of survival goes up um, anywhere from 75 to 85%.